Barney Ward and this is an exhibition of my floral watercolor paintings. I love flowers. My mom was a great gardener and when I got back into painting because I I do have a doctorate on Blake and studied his art and literature and I've been involved in transcendental meditation. When I got back into painting in the 90s I wanted to do flowers. So I work from my own photographs, mainly flowers in my garden and I'm particularly interested in light and I see flowers as a way of capturing and transforming light according to their own structure. So I really like taking photographs of especially flowers that have fairly delicate petals. I'll get them backlit with the light behind them so that you're aware of the way the petals transform the light. It's almost like they create um, a kind of personality to the light. So I've gotten more vibrant with my watercolors recently. I like using quite dark backgrounds because I think it enhances the quality of light. And the, the interesting thing with watercolor is the light comes from within in watercolor. And I've been uh, practicing Transcendental Meditation for 40 years and when I meditate I'm aware of an inner light. So in my flowers I like the inner light of the flower to come through. And one can do that if the light's coming behind and the white of the paper is bringing the light. Whereas in other mediums like oil and acrylic, the light is put on afterwards with opaque white paint. But for me, trying to get the spiritual essence of the flower, it really is important that the light comes from within. And I also like the flowing quality of watercolor. It has a well, a different nature. It's not thick. Every every paint has its own personality. But watercolor, if you make it very wet, it actually flows the pigment around. So the earthy particles of the pigment, in some colors, will create a very unique texture. Um, and I really like that, the granulating pigment. So you can make use of these different textures that certain pigments allow. So watercolor is a very difficult medium, but it, it has a lot of opportunities that aren't available with um, with other mediums and for me it just really works and the the clear transparent colors really work for flowers I think as well so every flower I think how am I going to present this in a way that really captures the spirit of that particular flower and that's where I start um, so they're not they're they're not all the same in the kind of I don't have one style for every flower because I try to match my approach to the characteristics of the flower and capture the personality of that flower.